It's already a great sign when none of the holes line up properly on this frame for the B250 mining big boy, but whatever, good enough. Okay, a quick test boot, just making sure that the Platinum will fire up with the main PSU. And yep, came up just fine, so let's shut this bad boy down. And let's start loading up some GPUs. All right, test boot with six cards on the last channel. Everything is good. I've got five on this 600 watt power supply and I've got one on the 1200 so far. Looks like it's all triggering just fine. So I'm gonna keep adding more. All right, well, I got 11 in and recognized. However, the 11th P106, I couldn't run in any of the top slots here or in the B slots there, but I popped it in the A slot and it seems fine. So now I'm going to add in a 1660 Super, and then if that works, I add in the A2000, so if that works, I'll start adding in some AMD stuff. But 11 GPUs isn't very impressive, so I'll try more. Okay, I have 15 registering now, which includes 11 P106 100s, a 1660 Super, an RTX A2000, an RX 470, and an RX 570. I have not tried mining with them yet, but there's no malfunction, so I think we're okay there. I am going to try to add a 16th. Wish me luck. It's a crazy orientation, so I've got all P106s in the top here, except for... Where is that 1660? 1660 is the middle one in this third from the end row, and I've got AMD, A2000, and AMD, just for the record. I am out of risers, so I had to bring a Molex riser out of retirement for that P106. However, I have 16 GPUs detected. I have 11 P106s, 1570, two A2000s, a 1660 Super, and an RX 470, which is off the screen. I am going to try and mine with this. Wish me luck. As you can hear, the power supply is ramping up. And although a lot of these cards kind of suck, you can see Caspa hash rate on all of them. It's incredible. All right, I promise I will do a video on the Emporia view, but when it was mine, we were at 3715. And now that it's not, we're at 2663. Right here we can see idle state. So mining takes about 600 watts more than idle. <laughs> but yeah, 1100 watts for this full rig on Caspa. I need more risers to try more cards. <laughs> this is so dumb. Maybe I'll get another power supply and use SATA. I'm so sketched out by SATA, but I guess for testing we could try it. That's what a 12 GPU looks like. That's what an 8 looks like. That's 16. <laughs> We're almost breaking the Hive interface. That's incredible. I added another power supply on another circuit and a 3070. And we have 17 GPUs. I'm going to try mining with it and then I'm going to try to add an 18th. Well, there you have it. 17 mining. I guess I'll try for an 18th. Okay, just because I want to remember, it will not do 18 without external factors. So the top row is all P106s. Uh, I had just a single P106 in the X16. All of the third row is P106. All of the fourth row is P106. And then the first card in the fifth row is P106, the second is a 1660 Super, then AMD, the one just below the blue here, that is another AMD, one below that is an A2000, or sorry, no, this is an A2000, and the blue back there is an AMD, and let's see here, the card way back there is an RTX 3070, so the second to the last row furthest on. Fan stop, let's see, do we see 11? 
Ah, crap, it doesn't detect it through the bifurcation card. I'm gonna try some more things. All right, so I tried the bifurcation card in the main slot and it stopped detecting that card entirely. Took it back out, still was only detecting 16. So I swapped GPU like 1A in the 16, uh, the by 16 slot and it came back up and I actually got the 60, 5600 XT to get detected. So I have 18 cards. Proof that they're all here. I am going to try mining with them. So let's see, <laughs> just goofy. <laughs> you almost can't even see the command line. All right, cross your fingers. I've not actually ever seen anyone get 18 cards on one of these without some sort of splitter card or doing some sort of malfeasance. What a ridiculous mess. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it appears like it is actually mining. Look at that mess. That's incredible. Now this is lower than before, but I took two rigs offline just to get cards, so this is definitely more juice. The idle power of the house, I think, is in the low... I don't know, this is drawing like 14 or 1500 watts, I think. Oh my god, yep, 18 GPUs mining. In Linux! On an ancient B250 mining expert that does have, uh, I think... This has 16 gigs of RAM, a G4560T processor. Just silly, man. Let's see what it looks like in the, uh, the web GUI. Yep, we have hash rate on every card. It's not impressive. <laughs> Three giga hash for probably almost 2,000 watts. Wow. Sorry about the flickering. This laptop's super cheap. That's cool, though. I've never seen that before. And it's working. We officially broke the Hive Web GUI on the mobile app. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like on a full-blown computer. Oh my god, you get two rows of cards. <laughs> Those are all 12 GPU for the record, so that's how ridiculous this is. Wow. I gotta figure out what's going on with the fan, unfortunately, on my little kitten card here. Before I shut it down permanently and probably take it apart. Yep, here we see, just to prove this is actually running. And there you go, B250 Mining Expert, there's the BIOS version. There you go. But there you go, there's 18 GPUs running on one board in Linux. I don't think I've ever seen that done before, so... Correct me in the comments, certainly I'd love to go watch the other videos. I know Bits did 20 in Windows a long time ago on one of these with a splitter card, but this is a stock mining expert motherboard, no trickery, just running three power supplies and a bunch of GPUs. So there you go. That was fun. Thanks for watching.